my name is Yinka Shonibai. Well, I, I set up a foundation and so we have a number of fund raising events. Um, and we have a number of uh, patrons who support us. So I, I don't raise all the money myself. Uh, the capital expenditure is mine. Um, you know, I paid for the building, I paid for setting up the foundation. And so, and that, that was my intention all along that I will, I will pay to start up the foundation. And then once they're more established, I will step back and our supporters and sponsors will pick up from there. And hopefully we can continue that process where, you know, just based on the example of the works that we've done, and if people see that we're doing really good work, uh, they will be encouraged to continue to support us. This room is where the artists will congregate socially. They've got their own television, they've got books, um, they've got well, a space to entertain. The building is wrapped by a ramp. It's still being built. There's a ramp that takes you, which is another means of access for even a handicapped person. So you can go from the ground floor all the way to the roof. And as you go along, you've got bookcases with books for people to experience. You can have a wide collection of books. And so this is part of his um, sort of like sharing what he has with people. Hello, my name is Belinda Holden and I'm the CEO of the Yinkashonibari Foundation. And that's a foundation, um, it's a registered charity set up, set up in 2019 in the UK. Um, and basically we are, if you like, an umbrella organisation to Guest Artist Space Foundation here. It's going to bring international artists, cultural exchange. It's going to give them the opportunity to express themselves. The Jebu project is in Ikishi and it's on a wide, I think it's 54 acres. Where so uh, they're going to have sculptors who are going to be able to, you know, do their workshops out in the open, do whatever they want to do. And uh, the local community is also, it will also help revival of some of our lost, almost lost, yeah, artisan, you know. So they're going to put all of these people to come together. But there will be international artists coming, local artists. I think the space in Ujibu really gives an opportunity for a different kind of approach. I mean, here you're in, a, you're in an urban mega city. You're in a vibrant, lively, you know, it, it's, it's a constant move. It's got a, a huge energy to it, which is just, it's just wow. It is really wow. But then in each of you, you've got this stillness. You've got this, it, it sits on the, on the top of the hill and you've just got this expansive landscape, which is a mixture of, um, you know, the arable land, it's a mixture of farming, it's a mixture of um, woodland, um, rainforest, it's, 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 a, it's, it's quite breathtaking. And you, so you have a, a very different sense of peace there. But you've then got, you're on a working farm. You know, you're on a farm that is producing food. So for those who have a practice, that is, there's an interest in food or landscape or nature, whether you're an artist, a researcher, um, a specialist in terms of farming and agriculture, there is a space to come and spend time as part of your studies or research or part of your practice to come and be based at home. 
Well, for example, so you might have someone who is a soil specialist being there with a filmmaker who's really interested in the, maybe the village and the life of the farm, perhaps with a meteorologist who's, who's looking at stars or because it's in this incredible space. You're, you're, it could be all sorts of things. Um, and they will have time to live, be together. They might not actually sort of work together, but they'll be exposed to each other's work. I was inspired by a lot of Nigerian artists for my decision to become an artist. Um, it's basically based on what I saw uh, when I was young in Nigeria. In England, I had a space uh, to support young artists. And I did that in England for about 10 years. Um, when you provide space to artists, and they don't have to think about paying their rent, um, they have more time to develop their work. You inevitably get a better quality of work because they have time, they don't have to go and pay rent. So that's the opportunity I'm trying to uh, provide here. And also, all artists need inspiration. So by bringing artists from different parts of the world here, artists here can see Okay, this is the international standard. I want to be, I want my work to be as good as those work, if not better. So what I want to do here is to provide that space, provide uh, a room for the artist to work, uh, to stay. So, you know, they, we will do lectures, uh, they will explain what they've been doing the three months they've been here, and they will also have conversations with um, artists who are based here. So the idea is that the work here will have economic impact through cultural intervention. We strongly believe that there is great potential in the cultural sector through creatives to change fundamentally the country. And so as part of that, we're very excited to announce our call out for the first three fellows, uh, Guest Artist Space Foundation fellows who will have an opportunity to take part in an all-expense-paid residency uh, that will take place here. Uh, two will take place in Lagos, one will take place in Ijebu. Um, the artists, creatives will be invited to apply from Nigeria and West Africa for this first round of opportunities. Uh, we can't wait to receive the applications by March 20th. From those who are interested, it will also, um, the opportunity also comes with a stipend to support any livelihood costs that they may incur during their time with us. So we are very excited to use this opportunity to share this um, fantastic initiative, really, with all of you. Uh, and we hope that we'll receive many, many applications from young artists who are interested in working with us. But um, as a lawyer, I think my input um, has been developing the structure. Um, so the idea is that both social enterprises, so both charities. The International Barry Foundation is the, uh, I would say, is the umbrella charity based in the UK, registered, and the idea is that it will be able to fundraise extensively globally, uh, and the idea is to fundraise from the UK because it's a stronger, more regulated environment where charities are held accountable. So we want to make sure we can show all of our donors, international donors, uh, the monies that we're um, uh, collecting will be, you know, accounted for properly. Now, a significant part of the donations that we gather at the Inkashi Nibari Foundation level will then be donated to our sister um, organization charity here, which is Gas Foundation. And so it's, it's a way of creating a funnel for, you know, fundraising to come from outside the country into Gas Foundation. The Gas Foundation is a Nigerian registered charity. It's registered as a registered uh, trusteeship. And also just to say that even though we're fundraising from the UK um, globally, we also are encouraging um, donors and we are receiving significant interest 
from local Nigerian donors. As you all know, there's a very active um, community of art collectors um, who are also people of considerable wealth, and they've all been very, very supportive. And so the Gas Foundation is also um, fundraising here in Nigeria to support um, all of what um, the residency uh, programs will be doing. And it comes back really to Yinka's original vision, which were, which is almost much more about a circular society. It's about living sustainably. It's about learning. It's about being given the skills to be self-sufficient. Um, and I suppose we, we started doing that from the ground up. So literally, the, the earth in Ijibu that was dug out for the foundation became the 40,000 bricks that built the building, the, the barn house, which will then house the researchers, the creatives, who bring um, knowledge, skills and learning, training opportunities, sharing of knowledge, but all of that sort of, it has this sort of is within the site of something that is very much of the place, of the earth, um, and, and gives that space to reflect, and then living off the, off the land surrounding it, being part of the local community. We're going to have all different disciplines at the same time, because you can learn, if you're, if you're a fashion designer, you can learn something from an architect or from a painter. You know, so I think it's actually, you know, it's much more interesting to have all different types uh, of people working alongside each other so they can learn from each other. Mm -hmm.